Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Garnet Blue, and today we're gonna be reviewing this wonderful unit from Ali Annabelle Hair from AliExpress. Today's unit is a 20 inch loose wave at 180 density. Let's just see what's in the bag. In the bag, it comes with two wig caps as well as this cute little card from Ali Annabelle Hair. Now let's open up this baby. Let's see how she look. I feel like she look cute. I know she look cute. And voila. And this is how she looks. She's absolutely stunning. Um, she comes with, I think, three or four pins. Yeah, she comes with three pins. And this is how it looks inside. You'll absolutely love this hair, guys. It feels so soft. Let's just see how it looks while it has the lace on before we cut it. So next, I'll be cutting off the lace using a zigzag motion just to give it a more rigid look because when it's a straight line, it looks absolutely fake and yeah, we don't need that. We really don't need that. Just make sure you keep the line rigid. It doesn't have to be like skew or anything, just a bit rigid so it looks more natural. As you can see, I've already added a bit of foundation to my um, wig cap. And I also added a bit of foundation to the closure itself. Just so that it blends in with my skin. And voila! So now to add some got to be free sprayed glue. Just to secure the hair to secure the hair sorry about that um so that it doesn't like fall off or anything we need it to be stable it can't be moving around like we gotta make it look like a frontal and by the way this is a four by four closure so yeah Next thing we'll be brushing the hair back just so that it doesn't get stuck when we like fully secure the closure. Just add a bit more got to be free sprayed for the security and use your red tail comb to place it properly. Next you'll secure the wig with your scarf. It can be a silk scarf or any type of scarf that you prefer. Just make sure that it will be able to stay on your head without moving around too much. Next, I'll be dampening my hair a bit with this combination of... It's a combination of water and conditioner. Um, I put conditioner there because water has a tendency of drying out hair. I know it's a weird concept, but yeah, water can be very drying to your hair. So be careful of that when you use this method. I'd even recommend adding some essential oils if you feel like you want your hair to be more moisturized during this process. Next, I'll be taking the scarf off so that I can lay my edges. And for the part, I'll be using my red tail comb again to open the part, measuring it from my nose, just to try and get the perfect middle part, if you guys get what I'm saying. And then we'll spray some more conditioner just to, you know, when the hair's dry, tint it tends to move around a lot so 
adding a bit of water to it can really help in terms of like the hair not moving around too much when you're styling it so i'd really recommend that now you just want to make sure that your entire wig is damp for the next step which will be adding a mousse to secure your curls now I'll be using this mousse that I got from Clicks. It's from the Africa range, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I'll link it down below if I can find the link for it. Um, I saw this mousse from Gorgeous and Bali. She used it on her curls, I think, last year. And I loved how they came out. So I, in, I used to use the Revlon Flexi mousse. And it was a bit too hard for my liking, so I opted for this one instead because it place it keeps the curls in place, but it doesn't dry them out. So that's what I love about this mousse. And you want to be generous with the mousse and then... I'll, I'm crunching up the hair at the bottom just so that the curls have a more rigid look, if you know what I'm saying. Next, I'll be using a bit of foundation just to highlight my... Sorry, just to highlight my middle part. Now I'll be using my red tail comb to comb the hair back in order to style it because I don't want it to be too forward. I don't know if you guys get what I'm saying. Like I don't want the frontal part to be too forward because then it'll just make it look like a wig. And the whole point of this is to make it look like a frontal. Next, I'll be going in with my eyeliner. Sorry, my mascara just to brighten to darken up the parts that i may have used too much um foundation on then next i'll be using my little brush here to make my edges or baby hairs whatever you guys call them my brush is a bit hard hence why i'm using the spray just to soften up the bristles it's hard from all the gel and everything I use on it, so I soften it up by using water. Next, I'm cutting off the section of hair that I'd like to be my edges by making it shorter. You can cut it to whatever length you prefer. Some people prefer the edges to be shorter, others rather have them longer, so it's really up to you here. Just add a bit of got to be glue to secure my edges so that they don't move around a lot. I would like for them to dry in this state. I love how they look. And this is the final look, guys. I hope you absolutely love this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to leave a comment if there's anything you would like to know. I will leave the details for this hair in the description box. And lastly, I would like to say thank you so much. We're almost on 2,000 subscribers and I couldn't have made it here without you guys. I absolutely adore you and I appreciate you. Thank you so much for your support and all your comments. 
I see them all and I highly appreciate them. And yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Love you and enjoy your day. Bye.